it's Paige and today's video is going to be my June BoxyCharm unboxing. Last month I did a PR versus purchase BoxyCharm unboxing and you guys seem to love that video so I will definitely be continuing those videos in the future but since June is a BoxyLux month I will be separating my two boxes into two separate videos so I will have my regular June BoxyCharm unboxing and then also my June BoxyLux unboxing. So I get this subscription sent to me as PR so I do not pay for it but I also pay for my own subscription um, every month and every time there is an option to upgrade to Boxy Lux, which is every three months I upgrade so basically you can spend an extra like 25 ish dollars every three months and you get the most insane subscription box in the entire world last time uh, my box was worth over three hundred dollars and I paid about fifty so um, I will leave some boxy charm playlist in that boxy Lux video linked down below also I will be filming my June boxy Lux unboxing as soon as I receive the box I just haven't received it yet but yeah let's just go ahead and get into this if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started I feel like that intro was very long-winded and hopefully it made sense it made sense in my head but sometimes when i try to explain things they don't always make sense um basically there's gonna be two boxy charm videos this month but every other month i'm gonna do pr versus purchase like i did last month i forgot what i was talking about sorry my mom came in and had to tell me something so important <laughs> so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get unboxing i will have a link to where you can sign up for boxy charm down in the description box it is an affiliate link so i do make a small commission from that link but if you don't want to use that link that's totally fine you can just go straight to the boxy charm website um okay so this is the card for this month it says greetings and it's oh no it says getaway Ugh can't read it says getaway that's even like more fun it looks like we're going away to a tropical vacation speaking of tropical vacations I am going on a little vacation my family and I are renting a beach house in starting like in a couple days actually for a whole week and I'm so excited I'm gonna get so tan and I'm gonna try to vlog it and do some really fun stuff and I think that'll be really exciting and different for my channel so yeah we have the card right here and boxy charm you get I think you always get five items it might be four to five items but every time I've gotten it I've gotten five items so the first item I'm gonna start with something small this is from dirty little secret let's see this is a lip liner it looks like this is the lip liner and it retails for $15 it is in the shade pale pink and it says smooth and creamy this dirty little secret lip liner is here to help you create the perfect pout so honestly I uh, hmm. I never ever 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 used to actually wear lip liners it seems like a very silly not necessary step to me but recently I don't know if it's like a trend or if I'm just like my eyes are opening to the world of lip liners but I have been obsessed with lip liners I love the Jeffree Star lip liners this one is in the shade mannequin um, the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are amazing as well um, I'm struggling to open this so one second got her open Oh yes, this is literally such a pretty color. So here's the swatch right there. It is a very nudey kind of pale pink color. My kind of lip color, if you guys know me, you guys know this is literally the perfect lip color for me. It does feel a little bit dry, but it might just be because it's like a matte formula. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I tried one product from Dirty Little Secret like years ago when I had an Ipsy subscription. like years ago like probably three or four years ago but i don't even remember what the product was i feel like it might have been like a purple lipstick or something but yeah i'm really excited to try this out this will be fun also i did want to mention i got foundation in my hair <laughs> right here i'm not sure if you can really see it on camera but um there's like an orange splotch in my hair because i had foundation on the back of my hand and i went like this and then yeah there was no going back so um i already showered and blow dried and straightened my hair today so i i didn't really know what i could do about it <laughs> anyway moving on the next product is from dominique cosmetics this is really exciting i've only i actually haven't tried anything from this brand jeez my mom is in a funky mood today okay anyway um i haven't tried anything from dominique cosmetics but i did actually purchase the berries and cream palette um during the vib sale i think i have it in my drawer so that i can use it like to remind me to use it but i haven't used it yet but i've heard great things about this palette and this looks to be a like a lipstick 
lip gloss maybe this is the dominique cosmetics lemonade lip gloss i love that name i hope it smells like lemon that would be freaking insane i bet it doesn't though <laughs> so this retails for 17 dollars, and um it says add hydrating shine and fullness to your lips with the lightweight non-sticky lip balm like lemonade lip gloss by dominique cosmetics the sheer gloss is long lasting and flexible so you can wear it alone or layered over your favorite lipstick um i love the packaging look at this packaging that's so cute i love the pink cap um i'm really excited about this Let's give her a swatch. Oh, that is such a pretty color right there. It's like a peachy kind of coral shade. It doesn't smell like lemon, but it smells really good. I might just put like a little bit on. <sighs> okay, love this lip gloss. It's so shiny. Like, wow, that is a shiny lip gloss. Next we have a highlighter. This is called a jelly highlighter, but it looks like a powder to me. This is from the brand Steve Laurent, and I actually received a product from this brand in my May Boxy Charm. I think I have it right here. It's a lip gloss. Yeah, I haven't used this gloss yet. This is in the shade Posh. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I wasn't like really intrigued by this product last month, but this one looks to be a little more interesting. <gasps> It's in the shade Cotton Candy. Okay, this better be good. I have high expectations. This is the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. It says this jelly highlighter formula is bouncy, lightweight, blendable, water resistant, and so fun to use. Watch it glide on with ease using your favorite brush or simply dab it on with your finger for an effortless glow. This retails for $26. I had never heard of this brand prior to last month's BoxyCharm. Um... So this is what the product looks like. It's a, you know, plastic component. It doesn't feel like insanely expensive. Um, but this is what the product looks like in the pan. Um, whoa. Okay. So it's definitely not a powder, but it looks like a powder at first. That is beautiful. This is exciting. I wouldn't call this a jelly highlighter. I feel like it's more of a putty consistency. Um, like it's like a cream to powder. Like it doesn't feel wet at all. And it's nothing. I have the Farsali. Like this is a jelly highlighter. This jiggly stuff right here. I would consider this to be more of like a, like a moussey. Not even moussey. But it feels completely dry on my hand now that it's blended out. But wow, that is so beautiful. The camera's not even doing it justice, honestly. And it has like a slight, slight kind of like a pinky-ish undertone, but it's very neutral and like natural looking. I can't wait to use this. This is, this might, ooh, I'm excited. I, I, so far these two, I'm like the most excited for. This is going to be great. Next, we have a product from Touch and Soul. This is the No Problem Prime Essence. So I actually have the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul, and I previously had it, and then I got it in my February BoxyCharm. So this says, let your makeup stay a while with your new Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence, infused with Calendula Officinalis. I don't know what that is. Flower extract. This primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky, silky smooth. This retails for $23. So I guess this is another primer, but um, just like a different one. I like the packaging a lot, honestly. It's really cute. I love the white and pink. It kind of gives me pink sugar vibes. Um, okay, so this is what the tip of the applicator looks like. That's very odd. Um... Oh, I just put it right on top of the highlighter. Whoa, it's super liquidy and runny. I don't think it really smells like anything. It's very liquidy and watery. Um, I don't really feel any tackiness at all. I would be interested to see if this primer is Jeffree Star approved since the other one from Touch and Soul is. And then the last product in this box is the most expensive product. Oh my gosh. I just realized I'm not wearing my necklace. Okay, guys, I just have a really quick story to tell you. Um, I, You guys have seen me wear this necklace in like all of my videos. I've been wearing this necklace for every single day for probably almost a year now. And um, it like got stuck on me. Like the, the, it got all tangled up and knotted in the back. And I spent a good 45 minutes this morning with my tweezers. 
untangling this and it's like a tighter necklace so it's like right next to my neck and I oh it was a freaking nightmare but now I can't get it back on because my nails are too long I just I feel weird without my necklace on I'm gonna have to ask my mom to help me put that back on okay anyway the last product is a palette from Tarte this is the Tarte BU naturally eyeshadow palette it's packed with four shimmer shades and four matte shades um this palette is everything you need to create endless natural looks from the frosty cool pinks to the rich bronze and brown tones this palette will flatter all skin tones while blending smoothly thanks to its amazonian clay formula so i don't know if i said this or not but this retails for 36 dollars and um this is what the palette looks like it's a circular palette i've actually never owned any of these eyeshadow palettes from tarte that are in this packaging i have the festival one that's in a bigger circular container but um i've seen other ones that are like this like the rainforest of the sea eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that so this is what the palette looks like it's a very neutral palette it is very pretty very basic um very basic like so basic but it's really pretty i'm gonna quickly add up the total retail value of this box and i will be right back so the retail value of this box is 117 dollars and i only paid well i didn't pay but <laughs> because this one was sent to me as pr but you would only pay about 21 dollars which is absolutely blows my mind it really blows my mind um so yeah there are different variations of the boxes i have the five variation five that's the one that i have so there are different variations of this box but this is everything that i got in my box and honestly this is one of my favorite boxes that i've received so far i can't wait to try this no problem primer already obsessed with the lip gloss it's so juicy and it's not sticky at all like zero stickiness to it the jelly highlighter is honestly so cool and like if i wasn't wearing so much highlighter right now i would totally put this on but um this is really exciting the lip liner i am excited about um not like over the moon excited but i am very excited about it it's a really pretty color and then the palette here is also very nice very this would be like a good everyday palette a good one to travel with i haven't really tried tarte eyeshadows in a really long time and i say that as i'm wearing tarte eyeshadows <laughs> today I, I i went with the yellow can you guys tell that it's yellow i can't tell these lashes are like but um i used this palette today the tarte and annaline morin palette for the first time and i like it i went with a matte look besides my brow bone of course but um yeah this palette was really good so that gives me hope for this one as well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to check out boxy charm they will be linked down below i will also leave some information about them um so yeah i love you guys so much let me know what you got in your boxy charm this month if you already received boxy charm i would love to hear what some of the other variations are and maybe what um maybe we got the same box so maybe we got the same products or if you even have any opinions on the products that i received so yeah i love you guys so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye